Hey everybody, 5 Band Man here, and today I'm going to be showing you the unboxing and installation of this Motorola Surfboard Extreme Wireless Cable Modem Gateway. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have the Motorola Surfboard Extreme Wireless Cable Modem Gateway. Uh, basically what this is, is a modem and a router um, put together to uh, make things easy, I guess. Okay, so let's get unboxing it. Um, this will be replacing our crappy, like, Netgear that we had from five years ago, um, which crashes every five minutes. So this will be awesome. Okay, so we're just going to open up the box. And right off the bat, we have the modem slash router. Um, yeah. And we're going to open it up into the innards. And then we have the uh, power supply, power connection uh, thing you plug into the wall. Simple. And then we have the Ethernet cable, uh, which it will be connecting the modem to the internet, basically. And we have directions, Chinese words, some more directions, and we have a CD that we plug into our uh, computer to install the password and username onto the Wi-Fi modem thing. Okay, so we will be following a simple one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven step process basically installing this cable modem. Um, very simple basically. Plug into the wall, or plug into the thing that looks like a TV, plug the power supply in, into those, and then hook up the, uh, you can either hook it up to the computer through uh, Ethernet, or you can hook it up with Wi-Fi with the CD that's in there. Or you can push the button on there to connect to uh, printers or cell phones or whatever. But we're just going to take it and just do the CD. Okay, so always first thing you're going to want to do is remove all the plastic. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is remove your old router, modem, and other crap you got in your computer desk. So this is our computer desk, thingamabob. Um, we had a computer in there, but we got rid of it. Um, so really nothing going on in here. And we're going to have to go down here to where all of the uh, connections are. <clears throat> like the uh, coaxial cable and the power connection. Okay, so here's our cable modem. Um, as you can see in the back, here's our LAN ports. Now, these you're only going to be using if um, you are going to want to hook it up to a computer directly using the Ethernet cable. Um, but we are going to be hooking up for Wi-Fi, and um, so all you have to do is screw in uh, the coaxial cable, which looks basically looks like a TV cable, and the power supply. And that's basically it. Okay, so we are up here on the top of the computer desk, and this is where we have our router. So on the back of the router, we have ooh, um, we have the Ethernet cable, which connects the modem to the router. Now we're not going to need this for this particular. I have a mint in my mouth. Hold on. That didn't go where I wanted it to go. Okay, so we're not going to need either of these cables because for our particular device, it's just going to be hooked up with the coaxial cable, which is the TV cable again. And that is going to be hooked into this, and it's basically the modem and this router combined. So all you have to do is hook up the router connections, or the modem connections. Remember that. So we don't need that, or we don't need this. And we most certainly don't need this. Okay, so we're up here with our new router modem uh, combination majigger, and we're going to place it like so. 
like that. So let's go look at the, the so let's go look at the modem. Okay, so we are down. Okay, so we're down at the bottom um, of our computer station, and we have our old Cox modem. That the uh, it's crap. Um, okay, so on the back here, I'm trying to pull out the things, but we have our um, Ethernet cable, which connects the um, connects to the router, which we don't have anymore. So just get rid of that. And we have the coaxial cable, which um, you're just going to want to unscrew that, and we're going to need that for the router we have right now. And then now it's just basically the power. And that's it. So now you have another device that you don't need anymore. It is really dusty back here. Okay, so um, here is the cable modem uh, router um, all hooked up. Here's the coaxial cable, and here's the power supply. Um, another thing I had to do was I put it back down here where the modem used to be because the coaxial cable did not reach all the way up to the top of the computer desk, um, which is about seven and a half feet tall. So... And that also, um, for it to be up on the top of the computer desk, um, that also widens the range of the uh, router. But really, right now, we don't have the long enough clock cable. So that's uh, it for installing it. Now all we have to do is go on the computer and set it up. Okay, so we are upstairs on our uh, main home computer. And um, so now what I'm going to do is just basically put in the CD. Okay, so once we have the CD in, something should pop up saying starting installation or something saying that there is a CD in your computer and it um, is going to run some software. Okay, so after a while this popped up and it said, welcome to Motorola Wireless Gateway Installation. And it basically says, um, select your language, which I am German. Now it's basically saying to uh, accept or agree to the license information. Okay, so now basically what it's saying is to go see our uh, passcode information, blah, 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 on the bottom of our router. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm um, not going to show you guys that since that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah, bye-bye. Okay, so I went and got the uh, passcode or SSID and stuff off of the bottom of my router. Um, so now basically it comes to a screen saying launch this installation uh, assistant, launch Wi-Fi assistant, uh, view user guide, and contact us. So right now I'm just going to launch installation assistant um, just because. And um, now it says choose your connection. Now the connection we have is wireless, so I'm just going to click on that. And right now I guess it's checking my system. And it says I'm okay. So I meet the minimum requirements, and I click next. And now it's checking. It's checking for uh, something. And yeah. Okay, so now it's just basically saying a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't mean anything, and I click next. And now it's basically telling me to enter my um the passcode on the bottom of my uh, unit, or my that thing, the uh, router. Okay, so it basically just um, did nothing. It has something to do with uh, that thing right here, because our old router uh, was Netgear, and um, this computer can't um, find wireless networks by itself without that little nubby thing. Okay, so I'm in here on my laptop, I'm kind of squished, and um, I'm just going to basically do everything I just showed you um, and on that computer, so you guys don't have to watch it again, and I probably just said that 
before about a couple seconds ago. Um, so I'm going to do that now, and then I'll show you guys right where I left off. Okay, so it turns out connecting over Wi-Fi, uh, or configuring this to make the username and stuff, hasn't been working out. So I just decided to um, connect it with the Ethernet cable, and uh, hopefully that will work. Um, so I'm just going to try that out. Okay, so finally, um, I tried it on the main upstairs computer. I tried it on my computer upstairs over um, trying to connect it wirelessly. For some reason, it was saying that I didn't have any um, things in it that would allow me to connect to the Internet, which is kind of stupid because the system can do it without that little thing card. And it was also telling me that I had to somehow modify this through um, the other, the Netgear set up something, and I was just like, I'm not going to do that, it's going to take forever, so I'm just going to be like, okay, so I hooked it up to Ethernet, um, if you want to get this done fast and uh, not have to haggle with the wireless stuff, I would say hook it up with Ethernet first, and then all you have to do is, um, you know, change your password and stuff, and then unplug the Ethernet, and then connect onto your laptop or whatever um, with the password and stuff that you just did, so the Ethernet will just make it a lot easier, as, as you've seen. So yep, that's pretty much it on how to install and configure your modal, modal, your new Motorola router slash uh, modem. So if you have any comments on what I did or what I could do better, uh, please let me know. And also, if you have any questions on setting this up or setting up a different style router, uh, definitely uh, leave me a comment and I can try to help you out the best I can. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So this is Five Bed Man, and I'll see you later.